In this video, you will learn about document versioning, including uploading new document versions in Cite Vault Free. Here are some examples of when document versioning is used. Updated documents are received, such as ICF templates or protocols. A document requires a change, such as a staff member addition. Or a monitor annotation requires an update to a source or regulatory document, resulting in new document to be uploaded. Using document versioning allows all versions of a document to stack on top of each other, so that there is no confusion about which is the most current version. Because of this stacking method, any previous versions will be noted as superseded, and any new or updated versions will be considered the latest steady state version and will appear in Site Vault as current, approved, or final. The steady state of a document refers to the documents that are current, approved, or final. Each version will update in 0.1 increments. Typically, an approved document will be noted by a major version such as 1.0 or 2.0. Any documents not yet approved in the draft state will be noted as version 0.1, 1.1, 1.2, etc. Document versioning can be used on both documents in the draft state and in the steady state. To upload a new version where the document is in the draft state, Use the action menu and select check out. Complete any edits required and save the document. Use the action menu to check the document back into Site Vault. If you've made edits to the document outside of Site Vault Free, you can select upload new version to choose the file from your file explorer. The document has now upversioned by 0.1 and is now version 0.2. To approve the document from 0.2 to 1.0, use the workflow and state change menu to select the appropriate approval method. To upload a new version where the document is in the steady state, use the action menu and select create draft. In cases where you need to make edits to the current document, such as adding a new sub-investigator on a 1572, you can use the copy file from current version option and use the action menu to check out the document to make said changes. You can then check the document back in to continue the approval process. In this example, choose upload new file as the new document will be uploaded. Choose the document from your file explorer and click OK. The version of the document is now version 1.1 and uploaded in the draft state. To move the document to version 2.0, follow the steps to approve the document using the workflow and state change menu. Since the document has multiple versions, a version history section has populated under document information. Version 1.0 is now listed as superseded and 2.0 as the current approved version. Use the action menu to compare versions to see the changes made between each document. You can still access version 1.0 by clicking into the document where it will note the current steady state version is 2.0. To learn more about approving documents, please see our video on directly approving a document on our YouTube channel. <laughs>